Okay, so tonight's been interesting. I, uh, I'm on my usual Friday night post out in front of Granddaddy's. And, uh, it's been by far my most interesting night. I came out alone tonight, and, uh, a couple of uh, awesome things happened. One is, uh, got another cup of hot cocoa. A young woman named Samantha stopped by and <clears throat> just brought it to me and said, keep doing what you're doing and keep up the good work. And I asked her if she was a Christian. She said, yes. And I said, well, God bless you and thank you and appreciate the encouragement. And shortly after that, a couple of dancers came out and started to lewdly dance around me and wanted their, and they had us a guy with them taking video of it so that'll probably pop up on YouTube or Facebook somewhere um, and then about five minutes after that another car pulled up with soup and hot cocoa or soup and coffee actually here's what I've, what I've gotten tonight I've gotten that was a cup of soup and a cup of cocoa a cup of coffee so kind of cool kind of encouraging well then Shortly after that, the girl Samantha, who brought me the cup of hot cocoa, came back and asked to stand with me. I said, sure. So we got to talking, and I asked her where she went to church, and uh, she said that, well, I go to... She was a Mormon. <laughs> short story. Uh, make a long story short, she, she told me she was a Mormon. So, um, it's a little conflicted because I'm not a huge fan of ecumenism or co-belligerence and everything, but I thought, well, this is certainly an, an opportunity, but she just went through a divorce, and she started coming to Highland, and she said, boy, it's a big difference what goes on at Highland compared to the Mormon church, and she's going through a divorce, and she's questioning a lot with Mormonism, and she came to Mormonism. She wasn't raised in it. She came to it from um, missionaries coming to her house, so let that be a lesson that door-knocking works. And, uh, you know, if the, the cults are willing to do it for a lie, we as Christians ought to be willing to do it for the truth. Um, so that was very convicting also. But we, uh, she stood with me for an hour and we talked and um, kept encur encouraging her to keep coming to Highland and invited her to care group and um, told her about the divorce care and the singles ministries at Highland and everything. So... Um, overall, it was a great night. And then another gen uh, gentleman named Steve stopped by. He's a brother. He goes to Good News Baptist Church in Mosinee. And he just stopped by to give us encouragement and stood with us for about 10 or 15 minutes and um, shared his testimony. And we all exchanged email addresses and phone numbers. So it was a great night. And um, it's getting to be midnight here. And so I'm probably not going to be out here a whole lot longer. So... Um, but it was just a very, very interesting night. Um, also, uh, the manager who's been coming out to talk to us week after week, is actually he actually confessed tonight that he's the owner. He came out and talked to us again. His name is Jerry. So be praying for Jerry. He, again, let me share the gospel with him. So, um, you know, who knows what the Lord's working on in his heart, but just continue to pray for him. This is the fourth week in a row he's heard the gospel. So... Um, just pray that the Holy Spirit brings some conviction.